In this video, we'll be going over how to combine graphics and shapes to create some eye-catching Halloween t-shirt designs on Canva. The Canva Elements library has thousands of graphics and shapes that we can access and use while designing. By combining various graphics and shapes, you can create custom Halloween t-shirt designs that really grab attention. So to follow along, go ahead and click the link in the video description to access Canva, and let's head over to the Canva homepage to get started. So first, let's start by opening up a blank t-shirt design project. To do this, let's go up to the search bar up top here and type in Halloween t-shirt. From the results drop down menu, you should see a tab that says Halloween t-shirt with the t-shirt icon beside it. Go ahead and click that now. This will take you to a page where you can view tons of different Halloween t-shirt design templates. For this example, we'll be starting from scratch, so let's click here to open up a blank template. This should take us to the Canva editor where we can create our Halloween t-shirt design. For this design, I'll be combining several graphics, shapes, and other elements to create a more complex Halloween t-shirt design. But before we continue, I wanted to take a second to let you know that memberships are now open for the channel. At the channel supporter level, you can unlock loyalty badges, custom emojis, get priority replies to your comments, and community updates only available for members. And when you join the members learning hub, not only will you get all the perks of a channel supporter, but also access exclusive members only videos, get early access to new videos before they go public, and other perks like members only shorts. To access our membership perks and support the channel, make sure you click the join button that's right underneath this video. So for this example, I want to start by adding a shape to use for my design background. To add a new shape, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the Elements tab. Here's where you can browse through all the graphics, shapes, and other elements in the Canva library. I want to start by adding a shape, so let's click the See All button in the Shape section. This will open up the Shapes menu where you can view all the different shapes that are available in the Canva library. For my design background, I think I'll use this oblong shape here. When you select a shape, it should be added to your template. You can then resize it and move it around as needed. For my Halloween design background, I actually only need the top rounded half here. So to remove the bottom half, let's grab this little tab that's on the bottom of the outline of the shape and drag it upwards to remove the bottom. There we go. I think that'll work for my background. Next, let's change the color of my shape by selecting it and clicking the color icon in the toolbar at the top here. I can then select whatever color I wish to use for my background. Since I'm creating a Halloween design, I think I'm going to go with orange. And to help my shape stand out, I think I want to add a border around it as well. On Canva, you can easily add borders to shapes by selecting it, then clicking the border style icon in the top toolbar. From the menu here, you have several border options that you can select from, but I think I'm just going to go with the solid border. And using the slider bar underneath, you can select the width of your border. For my graphic, I think I want my border weight to be around 14. There we go. And my background shape now has a border. So next, let's start adding some graphics to my Halloween design. To access graphics on Canva, let's go back to the Elements tab. From here, we can easily search through thousands of graphics in the Canva library. You can search for pretty much any graphic that you need. But since we're creating Halloween t-shirt designs, here are a few graphic suggestions that you might want to use. Feel free to pause the video to check out the various graphics. So to find graphics on Canva, simply use the search bar at the top here. For my first graphic, I think I'm going to add a haunted house. This will pull up all the graphics, shapes, and other elements on Canva related to the keyword haunted house. Since I'm only looking for graphics, let's select the graphics tab. Now in my results, I can see all the graphics related to haunted house. I can now browse through all the graphics and find the perfect one to use for my design. They have a lot of free graphics that you can use, but if you want to unlock all the graphics in the Canva library, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for my haunted house graphic, I think I'll go with this Canva Pro image here. Once you add a graphic to your template, you can easily click and drag it to move it around or drag the corners to resize it. Let's put my haunted house in the center of my background shape. I think that'll work. So for my next graphic, I think I'll add a moon to go over the haunted house. So let's go back to the elements tab and search for a moon. When creating your Halloween t-shirt designs, you want to have a general design in mind, but remember to be creative and try different things out to see what works best. For my design, I think I'll keep things simple and just go with this moon here. Let's make my moon a bit smaller and move it up on my template. Also, I think my moon would look better facing the other direction, so let's select it 
And from the toolbar up top, let's click the flip tab. This will allow you to easily flip any graphic horizontally or vertically. So now that I've flipped my graphic, let's move it over to the right side in this open space here. I think that looks like a good spot for my moon. For my next graphic, I think I wanna add some bats. So let's search for bats in the elements menu, click to view the graphics, and see if we can find a good bat image to use for my design. I think this graphic here looks pretty good, so let's click it to add it to my template. And for my bats, I think I'll make them smaller and move them to the other side of my haunted house here. I think that looks pretty good. And actually, I think I want bats on the other side as well. So let's select my bat graphic and click the duplicate icon. I can then move it over to the right side of my haunted house. And I think I'll flip it as well. And to make it look like these bats are a bit farther away, let's make them a bit smaller. I think that'll work. So for the next graphic for my Halloween design, I think I'll add a cemetery ground to go in front of the haunted house. So let's search through the graphics in the elements tab here and see if we can find a good cemetery to add to my design. Let's try this cemetery out here. I'm gonna move it over to the left side of my design and make it a bit smaller. Also, I really like this tree that came up in the magic recommendations. So let's select this to add it to my template as well. Feel free to experiment and try out different graphics to see what works best. And for the other side of my haunted house, I think I want to add another cemetery. So let's go back to the graphics in the elements menu and find another cemetery ground. For this graphic, I'm going to add a silhouette of a cemetery ground to make it look like it's in the shadows in the background. And to add another layer, let's add this cemetery ground as well. And for many of the graphics, you can also change the various colors using the color icons in the toolbar up top. Let's make my tombstones a bit lighter so we can see them a little better. There we go. So the next thing I think I want to add is a curved path going up to my haunted house. So let's see if we can find one using the elements tab. I think this one here will work. So let's add it to my template and place it to make it look like as if it's leading up to my haunted house. I think that looks good. Also, let's change the color to black using the color icon from the toolbar up top. The black pathway matches my design much better. As you can see, my Halloween design is starting to come together, but I'm not quite done yet. So I'm pretty much finished creating my scenery. Now let's start adding the fun stuff. So from the elements menu, let's see if we can find some dancing skeleton graphics. Instead of making this design scary, I'm gonna go with more of a fun bob. I think this skeleton graphic will look good. So let's resize them and move them to the side of my walkway. And I don't want them dancing alone. So let's add this similar skeleton from the magic recommendation section. For this guy, I'm gonna leave him a little bit bigger since he's in front of the other skeleton. And I think I wanna flip him as well so that he's waving from the other side. And for his position, I think he'll look good standing on the walkway. I think that'll work. So go ahead and continue the process and add your graphics into your Halloween design is exactly the way you want it. Take your time and experiment with different graphics and shapes and see what you like best. So I think I'm finished adding my graphics and shapes. Now let's go over how to add my design text. To add text to your design, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the text tab. You can then click to add a heading to your template and type in whatever you want it to say. For this text element, I want to move it to the top of my design. And to change your text color, make sure it's selected, then click the color icon from the toolbar up top. For my design text, I think I'll just change it to white. And to help my text stand out, I think I want to add some effects as well. So let's select my text. Then click the effects tab from the toolbar up top. This will open up a menu on the left hand side where you can add all sorts of effects to your text. To help my text stand out, I think I'm going to add a shadow. When you select an effect, you can also adjust the effect settings and color underneath. Also from the effects menu, if we go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a section where we can add a curve to our text. Simply click the curve option and your text will be curved on your template. To adjust your curve, simply scroll down and use the slider bar to curve your text up or down. There we go. Now my text is curved around the top part of my design. So the next thing I want to do is change my text font. To do this, let's select it, then click the font tab from the toolbar up top. This will open up a menu where you can browse through all the fonts in the Canva library. You can select any font that you wish, but since we're creating Halloween t-shirt designs, here are some Halloween fonts that you may want to take a look at. These are just suggestions, but if you want to take a look at them, feel free to pause the video. So for my text, I think I'll go with this font here. And keep in mind, whenever you change your font, 
you may have to readjust your text size and sometimes the curve. So I've added text to the top of my design. Now let's add some text to the bottom as well. To add another text element, let's go back to the text tab and click to add another heading. There we go. I can then type in what I want it to say and move it to the bottom of my template. Let's make it a bit bigger. And from the toolbar up top, let's select to change the font as well. I already know the font that I want to use, so let's type it into the search bar here. I can then simply select it to change my text. I think that looks pretty good. And just like my top text, let's go to the effects tab from the toolbar up top and add a shadow to my text. I'm also going to adjust the settings to make the shadow a bit more visible. I think that looks pretty good. I actually really like this font, so I think I'll change my top text to the same font. If you ever think you can make your design better, always feel free to make changes. Now let's adjust the curve for my new font, and voila! Here's my new Haunted House Party Halloween t-shirt design. I think this turned out pretty good. So to see how it looks on t-shirt mockups, let's go up to the top of the page here and click the Print with Canva tab. Here's where you can view your design on several mockups and where you can order t-shirts directly from Canva if you like as well. Let's click the tab here to enlarge the mockups. Here's where we can get a really good view of our design on an actual t-shirt, which gives us a much better idea of how it will look. So if everything looks good, feel free to order t-shirts directly from Canva using the menu on the right. But for my design, I want to download it to my device. So let's close the menu here, and at the top right of the page, let's click the share button. From the drop down menu, let's select the download tab. This will open up a menu where you can select your download settings. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. This will allow you to download your design with a transparent background. This will allow you to download your design with a transparent background, which will remove the white or colored square from behind your design. And using the size slider bar here, I like to make sure my design is at least 3500 by 4500 pixels. But in order to resize your design, and to download it with a transparent background, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. If you still haven't signed up for Canva Pro yet, make sure you click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So once you select your download settings, go down to the bottom and click the download button. And your new Halloween design will then be downloaded to your device. Let's open mine up and see how it looks. Not bad. I think this turned out to be a fun Halloween t-shirt design. I can now add it to t-shirts or upload it to my print on demand store. So that's a quick overview of how to create Halloween t-shirt designs on Canva using graphics and shapes. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.